Hello YouTube. Welcome to Tim's BMW DIY. Very special day. Special evening, shall I say. I am going to open up some boxes. Most of these things have already been opened because I had to check them, make sure there was nothing damaged from shipping. But this is kind of how it came, the majority of it. But I wanted to go through some of the things uh, that I had to purchase. Some tools over here. Bolts. Let's take a walk to this other side over here. Gaskets. So, if you are going to be changing your turbos out, you're going to need one of these. This is an engine support uh, hoist, we'll call it. That's not the proper word for it, but it's, it's just an en engine support bar. Uh, I picked this up. This was uh, $50 plus tax. It comes to about like 60 shipped to your door. You can go to Harbor Freight and pick it up for 70 bucks. So if you have a local Harbor Freight, you can get the same thing. But I ordered this online. Got it through eBay. Technically, you only need one of these anchors. Uh, there is a hook in the back of your car. Most E90s, if you go back by the battery, that little tray, you lift it up and there's a hook in there that you use to hook into the cylinder head. And you'll need one of these anchors to actually support it. This also came with a chain. Um, but for some reason I didn't pull that out because it's just a chain. Nothing exciting. And take a look at this guy. I also wanted to mention, um, I forgot to let you guys know from the last video what those parts were from. I failed on that one. I'm sorry. So those parts in the last video were off of a Boss 351 Cleveland. It's a Ford engine. Really nice motor. Uh, factory, they made 385 horse. And uh, about the same in torque, 380 foot-pounds of torque. So if any of you guessed on the last video, Boss 351 Cleveland, give yourself a pat on the head. On the, <laughs> excuse me. Give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah, so let's start off unboxing stuff. So the first box we have here is from DNA Automotive. I will give links to everything in the subscription, but I'm going to install all of them first, prove and validate that yes, it works before I put up those links. The last thing I want to do is give you guys a link to something that isn't going to work. I don't want to be, you know, yelled at or flamed because they're like, I bought that part that you put on your channel and the thing failed. My shit blew up. Excuse me. My stuff blew up. So all these will be linked once I prove and verify everything that is good make sure everything works so yeah we'll start off with this box right here this is a DNA motoring and I also would like to let you guys know that uh, when I ordered this stuff um, I could have actually, I bought most all of the stuff on eBay and later on I realized that most everything that I bought on eBay 
was actually on Amazon for a cheaper price. Yeah. I could have saved about 10-15% over all this stuff by going through Amazon. So I am not sponsored by Amazon or eBay. But I do have friends that actually work for Amazon. And so Eminem, if you're watching, I'm plugging Amazon for you, brother. I miss you. Had lots of fun playing football with you and I know what kind of uh, butt kicker you are and I'm sure you are leading that company to great heights. Anyhow, back to the task at hand. Well, let's take a look. What's behind box number one, we'll call it. And what do we have here? doing everything one-handed I'm trying to get used to it so okay so this is a performance air cleaner air filter let me get it out of the bag here or not come on okay so one thing you guys need to know, my car, I'm trying to uh, basically make it a sleeper. It's going to have a bunch of stock parts on it. Factory uh, airbox, factory inlets, although I am modif heavily modifying those inlets. And you'll see that when I do the install. Um, I want this thing, when you pop the hood... You're going to be like, wow, this thing is absolutely stock. But it's not. It's going to be fast. Faster than stock, at least. But this was a performance air cleaner. And uh, it looks like a K&N. But this was a... Uh, just basically, I don't know, 50%. Or more uh, inexpensive compared to a K&N. This was, I think, twenty-five dollars shipped to me, and a K&N was seventy to seventy-five dollars shipped to me. So I am going to be your guinea pig here and see if this guy is worth the twenty-five dollars. It has a cotton medium in the middle for the filtration and it doesn't need to be oiled and it is reusable and serviceable you can clean it okay box number one out of the way so i'm kind of excited about that this one because uh, i know how restrictive the stock filters are so okay let me see how i'm gonna do this All right, box number two. What? Okay, anyone? Can anyone tell me what these guys are? What do we have in box number two here? If I can open the box. Sorry about my mic uh, cord here. It's always getting in the way, getting in the shot. Eventually, I'll... Uh, get like a wireless mic so you guys don't have to see this but anyways box number two uh, the N54 has outlets that are very restrictive they neck down to less than an inch Let's see if I can get this open for you here. Okay. Your 
in stock N54 outlets literally neck down to like seven eighths. And this is an inch and a quarter opening right here. And I bought this because I did a little research and found that this helps with turbo surge. And it allows your turbos to work more efficiently. And that's back to what I was saying earlier is I want to do improvements on efficiency, not necessarily crank up the boost. There's a look inside there. And so this is one of those bottleneck situations where you find the bottleneck and you're like, okay, I can get power by getting rid of that bottleneck. So here's the other side. And I think this was like $125. I'll have to check my list. Let's see what we got here. How much were these? Okay, these were $135. And then with shipping and everything, it came to almost $150. So, not bad. Uh, quality seems to be okay. I mean, it's nothing special, but I don't need anything special. I just need that hole to be bigger than seven eighths and it is so that that's going to be a big improvement on efficiency help the turbochargers work easier and do help with turbo surge and these pipes came with the coupler goes here And uh, it also came with V-band or T-clamps is what these are. Not V-band, but these are T-clamps. Came with two T-clamps. I did have to buy a two and a half to two and three quarter inch T-clamp for the intercooler piping. So the intercooler pipe will connect to this end right here and then this T-bolt clamp goes right over it. So yeah, I can't wait to put these on. Everybody says they're kind of a pain because you don't have anything to actually hold it centered. You have to put this on and then hope that the O-rings don't fall out of it. Let's see. Oh yeah. It also comes with two o-rings right there so that's a fun one can't wait to put that on and they said it's good for 10 to 15 horsepower do I believe that I don't know but if it makes everything work more efficiently then I'm all for it Okay, let's go over here. Here is some OEM blue BMW coolant slash antifreeze. And this is a concentrate. So you'll have to mix this with 50-50 uh, half water, half distilled water, by the way. And this genuine coolant And you want to run BMW coolant, folks. Their systems that they have, the water pump, all the pipes, all the plastic. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you got to use BMW coolant. Don't use anything else. You will be looking at leaks and problems if you use the wrong coolant. I've seen the wrong coolant used in certain engines and next thing you know you got coolant that's weeping through the cylinder wall into the combustion area. 
it's really sad to see but yeah if you use the wrong coolant it can actually start corroding the cylinder walls themselves to the point where coolant is actually leaking through into your cylinder walls so make sure you guys use the proper coolant whatever vehicle you have not all coolants are created equal and not all all the same manufacturers they all have their own specific uh, ideas on coolant and everything so even how the systems work so bmw coolant make sure you have one of those and i'm going to divide this up this video is going to also have some tools in it as well as parts so next up is going to be this gasket kit right here so i really needed just the oil pan gasket that's all i needed i already bought a new valve cover and already did the install on that um, this gasket kit it's a complete engine set minus the head gasket minus the multi-layer metal head gasket but it's got a rear main seal front front main seal vacuum pump cover got a valve cover gasket in there oil pan gasket uh, valve stem seals also comes with uh, gaskets for those are oil drains for the turbocharger right there um, these actually came with the turbochargers themselves. Those are the exhaust manifold gaskets with the uh, V-band gasket that goes in your uh, downpipes. Those are downpipe gaskets right there. And then these came with this gasket set right here. These are the exhaust donuts that that are on your exhaust manifold so those are your exhaust manifold gaskets and then i i really bought the the this whole set also not only for that oil pan gasket because that's what i really needed but i also got it for this because it's got a bunch of gaskets that i plan to replace so in this bag right here 